The ancient metalsmiths of Costa Rica, Panama, and Colombia were masters of lost wax casting, which they used to create intricate gold ornaments of many kinds. This animation reconstructs the stages involved in casting one Panamanian pendant, but the principles also apply to other cast objects from the region. Many are on view in the Ancient Americas gallery. The process started with making the wax model. First, a clay form in the general shape of the ornament was created. Next, a wax model of the ornament was built up over the form. Then, wax details were added to the model. The next stage involved making the mold. Wax vents and a wax sprue or pouring channel were attached to the model. Their precise locations haven't been identified on this ornament, which could have been cast upside down. The model was covered with a slurry of water, clay, and powdered charcoal, which was allowed to dry. Importantly, when it did, it captured an exact, detailed impression of the model's surface. The model was encased in a clay-based mixture, which dried to form a hard mold. In the process, the inner clay form was attached to the mold. Then the casting was made. The mold was heated to a very high temperature to melt the wax, which was poured out or lost. This gives the process its modern name. The resulting void was shaped like the wax model due to the dried slurry. The inner clay form remained in place because it was attached to the mold. The mold was then reheated and molten gold alloy was poured into it, taking the place of the wax. Gases escaped through the vents, sprue, and porous clay mold. When the gold had cooled and solidified, the outer mold and inner clay form were removed, freeing the casting. The gold in the sprue and the vents was also removed and probably used elsewhere. Now the ornament was ready for surface finishing, such as polishing. In the past, lost wax casting was used in many parts of the world and it remains in use today.